Hi, Row Runner fans. This is Brian Rowan, Executive Director of Athletics here at RCGC. Welcome to our weekly web segment, In the Chaparral. I'm joined by my favorite uh, co-host, Gus Ostrom. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a great week for the Road Runners. We're going to catch up on some of that, take an inside look at some of the things that are going on here in Roadrunner Athletics. Very busy time of year for us, Gus. Oh, absolutely. We just came off a great winter season and heading into a spring that holds quite a lot of promise. Mm. That's right. Uh, just this week we hosted, uh, last week we hosted our Winter Sports Awards at the banquet. Very nice event, great turnout. Happy to hear from our coaches. We had our full, all four of our wrestling national qualifiers there. We named our male and female athletes of the season. Congratulations to Liv Essex, who's a sophomore on a women's basketball team, who's our female student athlete of the season. Congratulations to Rasheen Merlin, sophomore on the men's basketball program, who was our men's uh, male athlete of the season. Uh, both, uh, both had great years for us. Yeah, both deserving, uh, you know, uh, honorees for, the, for those awards last night. Liv Essex just came off of helping the uh, women's basketball team to the Region 19 championship. She is a leader, a very selfless player, um, just uh, an outstanding two-year career. Rasheen Merlin, the same way. Uh, Coach Martin said last night when Rasheen entered uh, RCGC two years ago, you know, uh, they had, had a lot of work to do with them, but he developed into the player they expected, uh, just a solid player who's being recruited by, you know, several four-year colleges. Yeah, and I mentioned it last night. I was really impressed with how much he's improved. And uh, we have great coaching staff, particularly working with big men, Chris Martin, Rob Scott. Uh, right. They just do a great job through a number of big guys that have improved, but maybe nobody as much as Rasheen. So, hey, we're excited to see what his future holds and, and live as well. Congratulations to both of them. Uh, we're not ready to close out the winter yet. We'll talk about the Women's Basketball National right. Championship tournament coming up in a few minutes. But before we do that, we take a look at our events this week. Uh, really exciting time of year as we get ready for the spring. It's snowy here, uh, but uh, our baseball and softball teams are both down in sunny Florida uh, this week. Uh, we'll start, Gus, you did your previews on both of those teams. Right. Let's take a look at baseball. They're in Florida now. They'll have a couple games under their belts right. before uh, this comes on. They've only played Rowan Burlington and had a big 10-2 to win here at RCGC in their season opener. Uh, what are some of the things you know from our preview on the team? Yeah, they, uh, they look solid uh, throughout the lineup. Great pitching staff to start with. Uh, Derek Wakely is a returner. He's, he's a solid you know, pitcher. Uh, he had a great year last year and will do very well this year. Okay? Uh, and several other uh, newcomers on that staff. And I watched in particular a young man, uh, Nick Yoder, who pitched out there. He's a graduate of Highland Regional. He did, did a phenomenal job. So I think that their pitching is, a, you know, they're 10 deep, you know, with the pitching staff. It's gonna, going to be strong. And we're going to see a lot about that during the Florida trip coming up. Uh, the hitting, uh, you know, uh, was, was incredible again the other day. The, it was a 10 to 2 win over Rowan Burlington, a, a fairly decent team. Uh, we had some, uh, you know, uh, Jack Gone, uh, JJ Ganzaroli, you know, some people in the lineup. They, they have a solid, uh, solid lineup and produced 10 runs the other day. Now they're going to have a big test in Florida, so this should be interesting. We'll see how, you know, how they do. Again, they're, they're going up against teams that just are the best in the nation. And they'll be stepping up against some solid pitching and just some good competition. Hey, always a great test on that Florida trip. Uh, take, take on the hardest schedule possible. Uh, and you find out a lot about your team and particularly that depth. So, so we'll see, but we're really looking forward to a great baseball season. We think it'll be a, a, a great group and a great group to build on with a whole bunch of freshmen in the mix. Right. Uh, turn it over to softball. They're also in Florida. They're in beautiful Cocoa Beach. Uh, they've got a great returning group that we're really excited about. Right. Um, the pitching, they've got a little more depth on the pitching. Uh, they're real strong up the middle of the infield and at center field. Uh, what are some things that you mentioned in your preview about that team? Yeah, the, again, like you mentioned, their pitching is deep. They're pretty much they pretty much have three solid pitchers, uh, led by uh, Mackenzie Lafferty, who was the Region 19 Pitcher of the Year. She's just um, she's going to be tough this year, and she's going to be the leader out there. Okay, uh, their lineup as well is very solid. Uh, you know, from start to finish, uh, right at the top of the lineup in particular, they have a lot of good hitting, a lot of speed. Nicolette Gentile in center field is just a solid returning player. Uh, she's going to be, um, you know, one of the region's best players, uh, maybe even one of the nation's best center fielders. You know, we'll have to see how that shakes out. They're going to Florida, like you said, Cocoa Beach. Uh, Coach uh, Steve DePasquale, um, you know, he, 
they all know the, the routine. He just, they've been together for an 11 game stretch during the fall, even though this is a young team. They all played together during the uh, fall season, had a great you know, great season. Uh, Steve is expecting some pretty tough competition. Sometimes it gets off to a, a rough start just because of the teams you play. But he said in the end, um, this helps them, and it always has in the past. Yeah, we're so. excited to see how they do, uh, see that extra pitching depth, see how that works out for them. Uh, the rest of our spring teams, track and field, unfortunately, had their first meet at Salisbury canceled due to weather. Uh, they were scheduled to go to uh, Elizabethtown next week, but that meet has been moved to another date, so they're pushed a little bit further back. But we think head coach Ryan Hughes is going to have another very good year on both the men's and women's sides. We're going right. to look for your preview on that in the coming weeks. Uh, and the men's tennis team, which I coach, our opener is scheduled for March 17th at Rockland, New York, indoors. That's been a uh, rival for us the past few years, and they host us at a beautiful indoor tennis center, and that'll be March 17th. Uh, you mention anything on those guys? Well, uh, I just want to say that, you know, when you look at all, all of our spring teams, uh, I, I think we have an, uh, an amazing and promising spring, you know, season campaign coming up here in all four sports, you know, that you just mentioned, you know, tennis, you know, in particular, uh, track could be, and both the men's and women's could be top five in the nation, you know, once again, I expect that they probably will be. And again, baseball and softball have been just consistent over the years, you know, with the coaching staffs that they have and the players that they have coming in. So it should be an exciting spring at RCGC. Exciting and extremely busy. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, as we mentioned, we're not quite closed out on the winter. Uh, our biggest event of the week will be the first time since 2000 our women's basketball program will be representing RCGC at the national championships. They depart on Tuesday. Uh, the banquet is Wednesday. First game of the tournament uh, will be the Roadrunners versus Rock Valley College, 1 p.m. on Thursday. Follow us on our website so you can get all the details on how to watch, how to get live stats. They'll do a great job with all those things. Gus, I'll be out there. We fall as the number 18, 19-game winning streak. Right. We fall as the number eight seed. We were ranked number eight in the polls, so I, so I can understand that. But 19 games in a row, I, I think you can sense I, I'm a little disappointed in the seeding committee on that. But you're going to have to face the top seed at some point. Let's get it out of the way and take them on in the first game. Yeah, they're playing, uh, you know, Rock Valley right away, first game. Um, this team is not intimidated. I really feel that. I, I heard, uh, you know, Coach uh, Cooper mention that last night. The players have said to me consistently, we're not going out there, you know, so we can lose. We're going out there to win. Okay, and they're, they're ready. Uh, they really have no fear. They were down by, you know, 12 or 13 points against Brookdale in the Region 19 championship. And, you know, it was at a point that a lot of teams could have folded. Uh, Brookdale had some great, you know, players, great shooters, and uh, they were on fire at one point. All of a sudden, we have a 20-point turnaround. We have the lead. Uh, they're, they're not intimidated, and I really feel that um, they're going out there playing very loose. This is a veteran group. They have a lot of great sophomores led by Liv Essex, you know, in that lineup. And um, I am cautiously optimistic. I think we're going to do very well. <laughs> Hey, good stuff. Now you'll have to follow us online. Gus will have coverage on our website. We'll also be on social media. We'll be out there to provide some interviews with the coaches and student athletes from the event. Uh, most importantly, want to thank our sponsor, Matt Blatt Service in Glassboro. 15% off for all students, faculty, and staff for service here at RCGC. Gus, thanks for coming on in the Chaparral. Thank you. Always appreciate having you here. Also look for a special episode where we're going to talk about the Gloucester County Sports Hall of Fame where three of our road, former Roadrunners will be inducted on March 20, 27th. 27th. A big March night. March 27th, a big night. We're going to have a All special right. episode where we talk just about that. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Gus.